Hello friends, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today I thought I would look at a recent publication in the International Journal of Dermatology. It looked at a couple of unusual effects of garlic on the nails. The report was from Ames in Delhi. The article presents a 34-year-old lady who had long-standing hand dermatitis and recently noted an exacerbation of the eczema and also developed paranychia after peeling raw garlic with her bare hands. She developed itchy vesicles and fissured areas on her thumb, index and middle finger on the right hand and painful swelling of the corresponding nail folds. She used her dominant hand to peel the garlic. On examination, she had ill-defined scaly superficial fissuring on the palmar aspects of the thumb, index and middle fingers of the right hand. The nail folds showed erythema, edema and ragged cuticles with multiple horizontal grooves and pitting in the corresponding nail plates. The left hand fingernails showed milder changes. The authors could not perform patch testing with dialyl disulfide because the allergen was not available. They patch tested with the crushed extract of garlic pulp, which was secured on the forearm using micropore tape. Patch test reading at 48 and 96 hours revealed a positive reaction to garlic. She was diagnosed with contact eczema to garlic that had presented with chronic paranychia and dermatitis on the right hand. The patient was advised to avoid direct contact with garlic and apply potent topical steroid cream along with regular application of paraffin-based ointment. On cessation of contact with garlic, she noticed a significant improvement. Looking back at the published literature, occupational dermatitis to garlic was reported as far back as 1952. Even in this report, they used small pieces of garlic for patch testing. The eczema was localized mainly to the tips of the fingers in that report. In another review article in the late 90s, the authors suggest the patch testing with 1% diallyl disulfide is preferable. A recent article in the American Academy of Dermatology Journal looked at how garlic can induce a reaction similar to a burn. This patient had tried using it as a herbal remedy to treat surgical wounds. As it was applied raw on the surgical site, it caused a significant irritant reaction, which was probably an irritant contact eczema. The authors mentioned that garlic use on the skin was common in Spanish homes, a remedy colloquially called garlic burn. The response to garlic is primarily induced by two protein sensitizers, allicin and diallyl disulfide, which elicits type 1 and type 4 hypersensitivity reactions respectively. Grinding, slicing or emulsifying garlic releases these sensitizers. The article also looked at the beneficial effects of garlic, which is scientifically called allium sativa. Studies have shown its potential in wound antisepsis and augmentation of healing. In a 10% solution with water, garlic retains its irritant capacity, but when it is used as a cream or an ointment vehicle, it has exhibits fewer side effects. Its antibacterial and antifungal properties is attributed to allicin, the molecule that gives garlic its characteristic odor. This is thought to activate fibroblasts, potentially accelerating wound healing. So what are the learning points from the Ames article? Firstly, the distribution of eczema gives us useful clues about the contact eczema. Patients usually present with erythema, scaling and fissuring on the palmar aspects of the tips of the thumb, index and middle fingers. This will be the non-dominant hand if garlic is being held for cutting or in the dominant hand if it is peeled by hand. The less known fact is that it can also cause nail changes including onycholysis and yellowish discoloration. Some can even develop urticaria and rarely a systemic dermatitis. Even though garlic has benefits if used in lower concentrations in specific skin conditions, it can also be the cause of significant irritant changes on the skin and the nails. I hope this information is helpful for you. Thanks for listening and bye.